Well, the season is officially here, so we're bringing you all across the state to see some magical displays. And this afternoon, Channel 3's Eliza Krasinski is in Dayville at Amarante's Winter Wonderland. It looks beautiful out there. Hi, Eliza. Hi, Kara. So we just had the man behind all of the lights turn on the lights a little early for us this afternoon at Amarante's Winter Wonderland. I'm going to get right to it. This is Dan. He is the man behind this. He's the creator, the owner. How many years have you guys been doing this? Uh, we've been doing this since 2010 officially, but I, as long as I can remember, even as a little kid, we've been setting up lights as a family. This is the most incredible thing. Every corner of your yard is filled with lights. Tell me, how many lights have, have you, do you have out here? Yes, this year we have just about 200,000 lights. What? Yes. How long did it take to install? Uh, just over two months. Whoa, and you've been doing this for so long. It must make you feel so good. People come here, they it's free for them. All you do is charge hot chocolate so they can warm up. And, um, you know, you have some merch. But tell me about the donations that you guys take. Yeah, so the charity aspect is very huge for us. And, uh, you know, we love children and families. I have one of my own. And, um, yeah, our donations this year are to collect physical diapers for Diaper Bank in Putnam, Connecticut, and for Bags of Hope, Connecticut. And that allows uh, children in the foster care system to have a monogram duffel bag. That is so amazing. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. So they are open. You guys are open every single day, 5 to 9 p.m. Yes. The lights turned on a little early for us to get a nice scenic background. So come on out. Don't bring your hot chocolate. You can get some here and get some merch as well. But don't forget those donations. We have more on that on WFSB.com. I'm reporting live in Dayville, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.